What's up everybody? Krames here at Scratch DJ Academy. Wanted to show you my DJ troubleshooting kit when you're in the mix and you need a quick fix. Right here I have a typical pro audio recorder. I bring it with me to every set because although Serato will capture your live sets, it doesn't capture the effects that you can get off of your onboard mixer. So use one of these instead. Okay, so I got a typical record wipe here. You know, instead of using your shirt or some bar napkins, it's always good to have a good ionizer on hand to take out the dust off your records so you're not scratching them up while you're in the mix. So I got some typical scissors here, right? It's kind of an odd thing in the bunch. What I do with these, if you don't have any slip mats on deck, you can just take a typical inner sleeve, start cutting it up here on your corners. Then you're gonna fold it in half here, cut a little hole through the middle, boom. Two slip mats, ready to go. I always carry a USB with me because although Serato is pretty good at not crashing, you never know when you might just need to plug right into a CDJ for a track or two while you do a reboot. Tiny brushes. I have two of them. I use them for my needles instead of my fingers. Quarter inch adapters. I also have two of these. I use these for my headphones. One is more like a screw on and then one's a snap in. And it all depends on what type of headphones you have, but it's always good to have two just in case you gotta borrow headphones from a friend. Here I have a head shell with weight on top, right? This is four grams. But what if your head shell doesn't have a weight? That's why I have this nickel. Now you can be like Africa Bombata and keep your needles nice and tight while you do your scratching. Here's a typical pencil eraser. I just pulled it off the back of the pencil. Why? Because when I go up to my turntables, I wanna clean my swing arms, but I don't wanna just blow in there because this isn't a Nintendo, this is a turntable. So I take a thing like this, it gets it off, so you got a nice stereo signal, and then your Serato's gonna be reading left and right, smooth signal. Here I have an aux cable. If all else fails, your computer crashes, there's no CDJs, your USB's not working, you can always just plug in your phone, play a couple tracks, while you try to get things started. There's no need to sweat it out and have a fit. Just use an aux cable. So I hope you guys learned something here today. These are a lot of the things I like to bring with me for troubleshooting when I'm doing a live DJ set. If you learned something, please subscribe and like to our YouTube page. Check us out for more videos.